Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to give you a nice bombshell waves date night hair tutorial. I know that a lot of you guys like my hair in my last Valentine's Day tutorial. So I just thought I'd go ahead and do a hair tutorial for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to use this curling wand. It's from a brand called Lange Hair and they're fairly new, like they just started in 2017. So they found me on the Bubite app and I reached out to them to do a Valentine's Day hair tutorial because I really thought this wand was so beautiful, this rose gold and this rose pink color. I thought it was really, really nice, so I wanted to go ahead and test this out and do another hair tutorial for you guys. I always like to try out new products and try out new things to use, so I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys this. So this is not sponsored, I have no coupon code, this is literally just my own doing, so I really hope that you guys enjoy this look and let me know what you think. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys what this wand looks like. This is the Ondulé 25mm curling wand by Lange Hair. And that's what it looks like up close. I think it's the most beautiful color. And it just looks really, really nice. So I'm really excited to go ahead and use this. So I'm just going to take down the hairstyle that I have in right now. This hairstyle is going to be a video on Irresistible Me's channel. So when that is live, I'll have to let you guys know about that. So I'm just going to take my hair down and section it off and get ready to curl. So I just sectioned it off and at the very bottom part of my hair I went ahead and decided to try and just curl the whole thing because I wanted it to be waves and not curls. It ended up being a little bit too thick so I went ahead and separated it afterwards into two parts and I think I went ahead and did that for the opposite side. Just instead of doing one full big section just did two smaller sections. And I hold it for between 5 and 10 seconds. For this one, it's about 10 seconds since it's a little bit bigger. But normally, if you want curls, you'll hold it a little bit longer. And if you want waves, you'll hold the wand on there for a shorter amount of time. And this is the part where I begin to speed it up and I started to use the glove that came with the wand after a while because most wands that I've used in the past they have like a cool tip on the very end to where you can like hold on to it and that's what I'll usually do when I want to just let go of the curl and pin it up but this one doesn't have that and I kept burning my hands on accident so I just went ahead and grabbed that glove to prevent that from happening. So I'm just curling section by section, just going from right to left and just curling as many pieces as possible. And I like to make a lot of different sections within each side to have a lot of volume and a lot of body. So this wand says that it goes up to 410 heat, but it feels a lot hotter than that. So I'm wondering if that's actually pretty accurate, but it gets really, really hot and my curl stayed for a really long time. So I really like the way that it came out with this wand. So as I mentioned earlier, I like to split my sections up so that I get the most volume and the most body out of my curls. So I'm taking one section and splitting it in half, and then the bottom part, I'm going to split that into two sections. So out of one section, I just made literally four different sections, and that just really changes the amount of body and how big the curls or waves look after you comb them out and get them all nice and put together.
So altogether, it took about 30 minutes to curl my hair. The wand was nice and hot, so it didn't take very long for me to curl. And I moved pretty quickly anyway, so it just didn't take very long at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out all those curls and just make sure that everything looks nice how I want it to and brush them out as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and just curl any extra pieces that I want to be a little bit more curled or wavy and just make sure that everything looks the way that I want it to. Next I took some of my favorite texturizing spray. This one is from The Way and I've been using this one since it came out last year. I'm so in love with this spray. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray that through my waves and curls and just make sure they're all really nice and big and full. And next we're going to do the bang pieces. I always do those last because I want them to be curled nice and tight and I'm super specific with the front of my hair. So I'm going to just take those front long pieces and I'm going to do these in sections of three. So I'm going to grab that glove and just begin to curl that straight back. And I hold that for about I think like eight to ten seconds. And then I let go of it and put it into a pin curl and I let those sit for a little while until they cool off completely because I want my front pieces to set a lot longer so that the curl or the wave lasts longer and sorry you couldn't really see that one so I'm going to show y'all the other ones as well so I'm just going to go ahead and unclip that hair and part off another section and do the exact same thing When I'm done pinning them all up, I wait until they're completely cool, about 10 to 15 minutes if I'm in a rush, but sometimes I'll do this before I do my makeup so that it can really set for a really long time. But I'd say about 10 to 15 minutes or like I'm doing right here, just make sure that they're totally cool before you take them down. And then I'm just going to go ahead and unpin them and begin to brush them out and the brushing out process takes quite some time for me too. I'm just so particular about my bangs and the front of my hair. So what I really do is just I like to piece them out with my fingers first and then I get my comb or brush and just start brushing backwards and then pushing it forward so that you can see the layers in it. So this takes me quite some time to do um, but I really think it's worth it for sure because it's the front of your hair you know you want it to look really nice and full and customized to your style. So I'm just going to go ahead and comb it out a little bit until I get the bangs perfect how I want it to piece out the rest of the hair and we should be done after that.
this is the final look. I went ahead and changed outfits and put on some lipstick. This lipstick is MAC Selena. It's in the shade Dreaming of You and I love it so much. And my dress is from Love Culture. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this Valentine's Day hair tutorial. I will also tag the Valentine's Day makeup look somewhere so that you can see it as well. So give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. As usual, all products used will be listed in the description bar below for you guys. And as always, I hope you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching and have a happy Valentine's Day. Bye.